In the last decade, India has advanced significantly in designing and manufacturing of air-to-surface weapon systems. But its integration with Western platforms has been a problem as Western aviation giants refuses to share source code of its aircraft with the Indians. This creates a continuous market for the Western weapon manufacturers as India is forced to use only their weapons on these Western jets. Since India is in the process of buying 126 new fighter jets, most likely Rafale from France or Stealth F-35 from US, this creates a long-term dependency for India. Indian Air Force just showed the world how Lang range, standoff weapons with pinpoint accuracy can achieve without stealth. Moment IF has started its seat operations, that is suppression of enemy air defenses. Pakistani DGMO came running for a ceasefire. This shows the validity of IF's strategy. Let me explain to you why India's smartest fighter jet strategy isn't stealth, it's strength and speed, already in its hands. India needs jets, fast. Old squadrons are retiring and the gap is growing, but there's a solution already flying. The Su-3 Zero MKI is a proven warhorse, reliable, powerful, and made right here in India. Now imagine arming that Su-30 with a Brahmos missile, a supersonic, precision-guided, 800-kilometer strike system. That's not air combat. That's air dominance. Buying new foreign jets is costly and complicated, but upgrading and building more Su-30s, cheaper, faster, and fully Indian controlled. These jets can strike deep into enemy territory without even crossing the border. That's what real deterrence looks like. Every jet and missile supports Indian jobs, Indian tech, and Indian autonomy. This is making India in full afterburner mode. Until India's stealth AMSIA is ready, these upgraded Su-30 SAR are the perfect bridge force, powerful, reliable, and ready now. Let me explain to you, India doesn't need to chase trends. It's building true air power with eyes on the future and feet firmly on its own runway. Thanks for listening. Like, subscribe, and comment below. What do you think defines the perfect strike fighter?